Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. Today we are going to do a Let's Play and Initial Impressions review for Cades Sadies. <laughs> I'm not actually sure how to pronounce it, but it's C A E D E S, a game that was released out of early access on the Steam Store August 18th, 2022. It officially supports the HTC Vive, Valve Index, and the Oculus Rift. It's a budget shooter. It's only $3. Um, I actually bought it on sale for $2 on the Steam store. So yay me. I saved the dollar. <laughs> uh, this is sort of like a Max Payne wave shooter type game. Uh, arena shooter. And so you go to different maps. And usually have like a little setup. And then just a whole horde of enemies come at you. From all sides, and you just gotta keep using your slow motion, all your different weapons, to take them down. Uh, but I could talk about it, but let's just play. We'll, we'll play a couple of different levels. It is a difficult game, and unfortunately it has a pretty serious issue. Testing, testing. All right, looks like your earpiece is working. Listen, your mission is to eliminate Gustavo Dringe. He's waiting for his train somewhere on this platform. Keep your Gustavo. cool, no one knows who you are or why you're here. I've had some field agents discreetly hide a weapon for you in one of the bathroom stalls. Did he say Gustavo French? <laughs> hey, no copyright violations there. <laughs> okay. Uh, hey, guys. I just came from Taco Bell, and I ate the, the big beef burrito, and, man, I just... I gotta hit the can. If y'all know what I mean, you know. I know you got guys got guns, but I hope you just let me pass through, okay? Guys, I, I really gotta go, man. You don't want me making an accident out there, all right? So I'm just gonna go through if that's that's all right, okay? All right, all right. Hey, you guys are cool, man. I know some people saying that you're out here uh, doing crime and to get rid of you, but I think you guys are a okay. <laughs> There's an Uzi. I need to have time to think about what the street means. All right. So, basically, the here is our slow motion. And good job. Now take out any bodyguards and backup you might have had. Then get on the first train. There's two different. Reload methods. This is the manual reload, which you can do. And I'll show the other type of reload you can do if it works. Here's your health and our slow motion meter. So this is the auto reload system. You still have to charge it, so it, it doesn't save you a whole lot of time since you have to still charge it. This weapon does really well with the slow motion, but uh, not all weapons do. Um, I tried to shotgun with the slow mo, and it seems like it fires more inaccurately when you're in slow motion. But this little Uzi does great in slow mo. Really easy to aim with when you slow time. So let's go to. I'm gonna keep using the slow time. It says here to get rid of your weapon. You should probably discard your weapon so but you don't arouse suspicion. We don't really have to. Easy. Your next objective is to get off of the King's Street stop. You should be undetected. So there is like a shotgun up there. It's like an automatic shotgun with like six rounds in it. But if you miss, you're pretty much screwed. Or if they don't die, you're pretty much screwed. So because it takes a long time to reload. So I'm going to keep this instead. Wait, something's wrong. The train should have stopped already. You missed the destination. Hold on. Now, the big issue with this game is... Devices. This train has been hijacked by Dringe's game. The doors are electronic. Oh, he's saying Dringe. I'll open them one at a 
But it should be Gustavo's frame then. So here's the uh, the shotgun. You can actually walk up to there. I took up I took some damage, but not too much. I'm still pretty much almost at full health. So I'm at 93 health. Now uh, I have the game set to high graphical settings. I did lower it from ultimate. See, my meter goes up because I did a lot of damage. I did take a lot of damage, though. Okay. Not too bad. I, I noticed my frame rates, a lot of stutter. Uh, and I'm looking at my frame rate. It's like at 42, 50 frames per second. It's very variable. It, as I keep going in the game, the frame rates keep getting worse. So, unfortunately, I haven't been able to get far in the game just because the frame rates are so bad. It becomes unplayable the further you get. So, everyone's dead. Now we get to the drivers. You can pick up their weapons if you want, but I like this one. So uh, what happens here is you're going to get overwhelmed and plus my frame rates. Well, right now it's at 90, but once we get really close, it's going to, yeah, it's dropped all the way to 30 now. So it's at 36 frames per second right now. It's at 30 frames per second. So uh, it's becoming unplayable. So I know this is a budget shooter and if it ran perfectly well, I would recommend this game, but because it runs so poorly, I just can't recommend this game. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure why it runs this bad. It could be because of all the dead bodies and all the weapons and the bullets laying around. Uh, maybe the developer needed to... I don't know that I can... might be able to get out of here alive. But I have to go real slow. I'm not even sure if there's an enemy over there, but it, it was so blurry.
I have to get closer. I'm too far away. Oh, nope. I can't get closer. So I'm gonna have to keep going at... No, I have to get closer. They're too far away. I can't really see. Plus the frame rate, it's, there's a lot of stutter. And the game is at 45 frames per second right now, but it keeps, it's variable. So how many, there's a lot of stutter right now. It makes it very difficult to play. Yeah, it's it's basically unplayable at this point. I'm the frame rates are at 20, 30. <laughs> this is This is pretty bad. And again, I did lower the graphical settings. Uh, I'll try to lower them even more when we get to the next level. Did we clear the whole? Oh, nope. No, we did not. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we got very low health. We only got six health, but I think we're near the end, maybe. But yeah, performance is so, so bad. This game needs better optimization. Uh, it's, I can't remember the last, whoa, no, 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 no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> That's crazy, wow. So it's just a matter of, Ah, uh, okay. Let's go to level select. <laughs> we were almost at the end. <laughs> per performance got so bad, it was just almost unplayable. Uh, let's try something else. Let's try the... First of all, I said we were going to lower the graphical settings. So, yeah, this is this is pretty bad. Uh, okay, we're going to go to medium. Okay, so we're at medium graphical settings now. All right, so let's go to Festival of Lights. Now this is Cho's gang has taken over the streets. Take them out. We'll extract you as soon as all his goons are dead. This is an even crazier scenario. So you got two handguns with very limited ammo and a bunch of guys to take out. No, come on. Okay, all right. Oh, 
Oh man, it's just so hard to tell when there's reloaded and when it's not. And this gun is so terrible. Oh, okay, they're dead, I think. So let me see if I can get an upgrade. I'm, out, I'm already at very low health because these guns are terrible. Okay, let me see. Somebody has a good gun, right? Where, where are the good guns? Where are the good guns? Somebody have something worth having. Like I said, that was a crazy scenario. <laughs> uh, and lastly, let's try one more level. One more. There's five levels, by the way, plus the tutorial. So, Fell Trouble. I guess Fell Trouble. All right. We have a situation here. A local terrorist cell has taken over the police. This is more like it. Take them all out. No mercy. So, uh, I would say performance still drops. The when you get further. Uh, it starts off at 90. Okay. Ooh. Who's shooting? And you have unlimited ammo, so you can just go ham with the ammo. And as long as you're killing, you get your slow time back. Okay, this I like this weapon because it easily charges. Like easy charges. I'm still a hundred health. <laughs> he thought he was going to trick me. Woo -hoo -hoo. You thought you were going to trick me. You need to be faster than my reload, buddy. Yeah, performance is just going down, though. Woo. And there's no reason not to top off every single encounter. But yeah, performance is already tanking already. Like it starts off at a steady 90, but now it's all the way down to 45. So it, it's going down the further we get. Hey dudes, you can't shoot me through here. Oh, I got a little too cocky. I got a little too cocky. Hey. Check this out. Check this out, dude. <laughs> I have a feeling there might be somebody over there. Dude, you gotta wake up early in the morning. Oh. 
Oh! I was just talking trash about how they need to get up early in the morning to get the jump on me. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't recommend this game. Uh, it's actually not bad. Uh, it's pretty fun for, you know, for a budget $3 shooter. It's pretty fun, but with performance this awful, I, I, I couldn't recommend it. Wait, where, where, where is that coming from? <laughs> it's just it's such a shame that I can't recommend it. You know, this is uh, this is actually pretty fun if it, you know, we're running at a playable state. But it's just not. I don't think it's running at a playable state. Ooh. And for whatever reason, it's going black every now and then. I don't know. I, I'm still pretty good with health. Yeah, I don't know why it's going, like, the screen goes black every now and then. I'm not sure why. Definitely having a slow time ability is really helpful here. <laughs> And that guy is spazzing out of there. This weapon is pretty awesome. Look at this dude. I'm just gonna end his misery right here. <laughs> yeah, th this game is just running so bad though. It's honestly one of the worst performing games I've ever played. But it is fun though. It is, it's stupid fun. I just wish it worked properly. Wow. I thought I could recommend this to you guys, but uh, I'm going to give this game a 4.5 out of 10. I just can't recommend it in this state. Uh, I'm surprised it left early access with this game being so poorly optimized. I don't know on what kind of rig the developer tested it at, but you know, I have an RTX 3080. Uh, I know this is a Unity engine, but it shouldn't be running this poorly. All right, are we uh, are we good? That looks like all of Prepare for extraction. All right, how do we get extracted? We oh okay, we just all right. 
So, yeah, that was my Let's Play and the initial impressions review for a game I don't know how to pronounce. A Cade's Sadie's? Anybody have an idea? Anyways, like I said, I can't recommend this game. I'll give it a 4.5 out of 10. It's fun, but it runs really bad. Like, I was actually getting lower than 20, uh, about 20 frames per second at some point. So, yeah, not good. Anyways, I'm Fast Lawyer. This has been my Let's Play Initial Impressions. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, have a wonderful day. Oh, by the way, this game does have online multiplayer co-op. So, uh, it does have co-op. Didn't test it out, just test a single player. But does it really matter when it runs this poorly? <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.